remember I said the last 10% of a race is all about the arms. It's all about the arms for all the runners out there watching. You know, I'm a big, actually, side story. So You know how I like side stories. My brother, brag about my brother, he was 10th in the United States of America his senior year of high school for cross country. 10th. Out of all the cross country runners, he took 10th at Foot Locker and crushed it. He just crushed it. And I always, always yelled at him in races, pump your arms, pump your arms. And I, I'm just a huge, huge proponent of getting your arms going because when your legs are tired, your arms can carry you across that finish line when it just hurts so stinking bad. So anyway, pump your arms out there, especially the last 10% of a race. So that's what I'm practicing here, getting those arms going. By the way, I'm at Deer Creek it's Canyon State Park. I've never run here before, and this is 10 miles from my house. That's the beauty of Colorado is that uh, you just keep exploring and finding new places. So Deer Creek State Park, Deer Creek Canyon State Park, it's going to be snowy. Well, this is great. Rain, rain, rain. I'm just up here all alone. Whoa, big trees, lots of snow. Crazy. All right, we're going this way. Just insanity. I can't believe I've never been here before. Can you see behind me? It's just like epic. I'm basically breaking trail. I think one person has been up here today. Wait for it. Sunburst. Now! Ah, oh, oh, there it is. Oh. I'll get you another one. I'm probably running 10 and a half minute miles. It's very slow. I've probably gained about a thousand feet of elevation, but it's snow. Slowing me down. All right, sunburst. Woohoo! Hi, right. Plymouth Mountain. An hour and 39 minutes. We'll take it. Not what I expected. Flexibility in ultra running, AKA trail running. You gotta be flexible. I was hoping to run 12 to 15 miles today. That was my goal. But about two miles into this run here at Deer Creek, I realized because of five inches of powder on the ground, that wasn't gonna happen. So what am I talking about? Let me just catch my breath. P.S. No mountain lion spotted today, but I did just see a coyote, so be careful out there, folks. All right, so what I'm talking about is mentally, about three miles into this run, I had to say, no, you know what? I'm not gonna get my goal of 12 to 15 miles because I'm going way too slow. It was probably, I don't know actually what I was running. It was probably about 11, minute, 11 minutes a mile. And, and for me, that is not an aerobic, really an aerobic effort. That is more of a strengthening effort, meaning strengthening my leg, my calf muscles, my uh, soleus, my feet muscles, strengthening my quads. So I had to make that mental shift about halfway through. Sorry, about two miles in, I said, you know what? I'm not going to turn around. I'm not going to call it. 
just going to stick it out and run pretty slow um, for an hour and 39 minutes. So that's what happened today. It was a good run. Thanks for coming along. And thank you. Different topic. Thank you to everyone who is helping me get to a thousand. Yes, we were demonetized yesterday, and that's okay. We'll get it here in the next, you know, week or two. And uh, so, thank you to all the new subscribers for coming on board. I'm a. If you're new, I'm a runner. I love running. So a lot of the videos that I make for the YouTube are all about running. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We'll see you tomorrow.